Ilya Samsonov. How shocked are you? I hinted at this the last couple of days that it didn't feel like they're ready to give Dennis Hill to be his NHL debut. And lo and behold, Sammy's recalled, didn't play a game, didn't really take. I think he had one or two practices with the Marlies, but he's back. What are your thoughts on that? He's back. He's back um, as expected. Right. And, and again, I don't think in this market you can just completely bury a guy. Uh, that you made a financial commitment to remember because you have to go out and you have to sign other goaltenders down the line. And you know, if, if it's a, a first or second, um, you know, sign of, Hey, things are going well, we're getting rid of you. That's not good for business. So I think for him, that was the plan. Go down, just take a mental health break, reset, let the team go on the road, uh, you know, sit at home, relax, maybe work on some video with the goaltending coach or get on the ice, do what you need to do and come back. So if I'm him, um, I'm, I'm making the most of this opportunity coming back because we don't know when uh, Wall's coming. Uh, Martin Jones is, is you know, riding right now pretty high. So I think for him, it's just waiting for his opportunity. I'm just worried now about the media getting all over him. Hey, what did you do? How was your what time off? What? Did, so I think for him now, we're going to judge him by his next two, three starts. But his last couple weren't that great, but I think this mental health break will, will, will help because at the end of the day, yes, Jones is playing great. Uh, but I don't think Wall has 100% completely gotten over the hill by saying he's a number one. It's going to take him some time to, uh, once he gets back, a couple games to get back up to normal. So I think they need Samsonov just to be serviceable uh, in the meantime, and maybe they make a decision at the deadline, and we'll see. Well, that's the key in this whole situation is, like, I think the Leafs are obviously going to be very careful with the, with the handling of the media, right? I think that's where they've... Uh, made a mistake, if you want to call it that, in the last couple of years, specifically earlier this year, where it's like they let this guy talk way too much. And it always brings back, back to Mike Babcock and Garrett Sparks. And he said too much, and he's like pretty much like, get this guy out of here. I mean, Samsonov, Samsonov excuse me, had a, you know, a bit more stature to his career um, when coming to this team. But I think they have to handle this very, very gently. Um, and I just wonder if, you know, I know it's a different sport, but like, have they learned anything from Alec Manoa, the way the Jays handled the Alec Manoa situation? To me, I think it's crazy that you're calling this guy up like what, 10 days after the fact and you think you're reek all of a sudden he's going to be different. So not to play devil's advocate, Stu, but what happens if he, okay, so hypothetically, they got a back-to-back -back Colorado Detroit on home ice this weekend. He starts, you would think Sunday against Detroit. What happens if he gets lit up again? What do you do then? Well, then you got to sit him. But, um, you know, what exactly. if he went down? <laughs> no, but what if he went down there and he played three games and he went 0 for 3 and he had an 825 save percentage? Then what do you do? Right. So I think it's just more so, you, you, yes, you're treating him as a person, but at the end of the day, he is an asset and you have to treat the asset accordingly. So you have to protect that asset. You can't just bury it and, you know, spit on it, kick it, and then be at the deadline. Hey, guys, uh, we got this guy that's great. So I think they have to find a way because. You know, Martin Jones was in the minors for, for a reason, right? But he has come up. He's done his job. But that question mark, I think, for them is, are they going to go all in on Joseph Wall when he comes back? And I don't think the answer is he can completely be that number one. Say he comes back with, you know, say it's 28 games left. Is he going to go play 20 of those 28 games and then ride into the playoffs 100% healthy or 100% ready to be the number one? So I think the fact that that's what the Maple Leafs are questioning right now, they're not sure. That's why you have to manage this asset accordingly. Is this more about managing Dennis Hildeby is my question, right? Because they call him up. Obviously, he's the Hilda Beast. We got the nickname and all that. But he's still relatively green to the North American game, specifically in the American Hockey League. Do you think this is more about, like, protecting him than it is putting Samsonov in there? Like, they're going to have to play Samsonov, you would think, unless another move's coming as we report this live. But I just don't see that. Um I think maybe that's more the conversation that needs to be had is like, are they protecting uh, Hill to be in? A, if they are, I think it's the right, right idea. If like, if there's any doubt in your mind, that this guy should be playing a game in the NHL, then you're probably right no? Well, I think it's just sticking to the plan, right? We didn't know who the Hill to beast was. If we wouldn't even know who he was, if Samsonov wasn't struggling True. and, um, yeah. and, there, and wall wasn't injured. So I think that was the plan. Hey, he's coming over to North America. Let him just play the whole entire year. Get him a taste of, what it's like to be on the road, to be with the boys, to get a paycheck, you know, a couple extra zeros on the paycheck at the end of the month there too. But what you don't want is you don't want to kill goaltenders uh, confidence, right? The goaltenders are the weirdest position, the weirdest type of players. And him now say he goes in and plays San Jose and they lose five, one, that's going to kill his confidence probably before the, you know, for the whole entire season where he has to go back down to the minors and rebuild it. So I understand what the Leafs are doing. Give him a taste, uh, but you don't really want to now 
uh, put the hopes of the Maple Leafs. If there's any other organization, yes. But in this market, the goaltending is the most scrutinized organization yeah. in the whole entire National Hockey League. To put a young guy coming from overseas into that, where they're now, oh, you know, look how tall he is. He's bigger than Vasilevsky. His head is touching the roof. Every <laughs> single little thing, whereas if he was in Florida, like, yeah, there's some young rookie schmelt. Yeah, maybe we'll see him. Maybe we won't. Next question. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good to see them not succumbing to the pressure either. Not that any team does this, but everybody's been calling for Hill to be, and the Leafs just don't feel ready putting this guy out there. And I sort of commend them for that. I just, I really, really wonder, and I'm quite frankly a bit shocked that Ilya Samsonov is back this quickly where it's like, okay, if it doesn't work again, then you have a real problem on your hands and you have, you know, a guy like Samsonov finishing the season in the AHL. I just hope that this decision is the right one. And, and on top of that, he hasn't had any game action in a while, right? So you throw him back out there. How's he going to look is my question, especially in a back-to-back. -back. And you're not yeah, playing against be Colorado, something too. right? That could be something too. Maybe he's nursing something where they can't put him on the IR. Hey, you know what? Maybe it's a, a groin where, hey, you know what? Let me just take these 10 days off to mentally reset or get back physically. Maybe he has multiple of minor things. So that could be it. But I, I think for him, it's it's – those breakdowns and those goals that are going in, and I've seen a lot of the Twitter guys sort of break down the goals. The, you know, those aren't NHL goaltending saves that those, he should be making those saves routinely. Those routine saves are not being routinely made. So I think for him, that that's a mental side. So what do you do? You take a little bit of a break. Uh, but I think him going down and, and the Marlies and, and getting lit up, that's that's going to make things worse, not better. <laughs> Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. We got long form interviews, we got clips, we got epic rants by Jay Rozo. We simply have it all. And don't forget, you can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching.